this video I will show you how you can share your internet connection uh, from your Galaxy A25 with your computer, laptop or Mac or other device. So uh, you will need the same cable you use for charging and it's uh, Type-C on both ends. If you have uh, a replacement one that has maybe USB on that other end and not Type-C, uh, you will get uh, maybe a bit slower uh, internet speeds. So if you want the highest speeds, make sure it's Type-C on both ends and you have a Type-C port on your uh, laptop as well. So obviously then make sure you plug it in. And also before you do anything, make sure you have any uh, data savers disabled on this phone. Otherwise it won't work. Then obviously plug it in. And uh, you need to also unlock your phone if you have any lock screens or passwords on it. So then this is the most important step. We're going to swipe like this from up to down till we see this uh, option use USB for charging or file transfer. It will most likely say USB for charging for you. So click on that and click once more for more options. And then we'll need to select this USB that ring. And you may be heard that my laptop found the connection instantly and it will be able to use the data from this phone. Again, uh, the main advantage is for using is cable over using a Wi-Fi hotspot that you can also create on this phone is faster data speed transfers. Actually, uh, you can get full data transfer speeds that's the same ones you get on your phone. When you use Wi-Fi hotspot, usually the speeds are often like two times less. So that's really the main advantage. Also, maybe your computer doesn't have that. Anyway, what if you don't see this option here? When you scroll, you don't see this option when you connect it. So then most likely there's something either wrong with your cable. Uh, if uh, if you're still charging your phone, it doesn't automatically mean it's good enough for data transfer. So maybe try another cable. Then uh, the second thing is maybe is there something stuck inside your uh, Type-C uh, port here. So you can take a flashlight basically and shine in to see if there's anything. Then we can uh, maybe take a brush like this, any size really, and take simply a few strands from it like this. So we can basically hold the phone like this and so any junk falls out and simply brush it out like that. So insert it in and brush it out. So any junk here. Also you can blow it inside or use uh, a blower like this that can blow in like a huge force basically. So you put it in and blow it in so it will get rid of all of junk there. Also, uh, the third method is cleaning by using a very, very fine um, sewing needle, basically, and you need to go around the port, basically. But make sure you don't actually damage the connection there. If you check out my other videos, I have a very good, good guide on uh, how to basically clean these holes very safely. So don't try to attempt clean it. Uh, without actually checking the proper method how to clean it. Otherwise you can damage the board basically. So if it was helpful, make sure to hit the like button.